wanna pay off debt fast in 2023, I'm gonna be sharing the four tips plus a bonus to help you get one step closer to that debt-free life you desire. I'm saving the best for last, so make sure you stick around. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a money and mindset tip or trick that I share. I use these tips to pay off over $90,000 of student loan and credit card debt in three years before I turned 30, and I use the same tips to teach my students how to get even better results than me. Like Jennifer, who paid off over $20,000 between August and December of 2022, and so I'm really excited to share these tips with you. One. Find the money method that works for you. There are so many different options for debt payoff, like the snowball method, the avalanche method. If you wanna learn more about those, let me know in the comments and I can make a video to explain. But you wanna figure out which debt payoff method is going to be the best fit for you. Why? Because in order to pay off debt, especially to pay it off fast, you're going to have to be really determined and make a decision to make it happen. And psychology is about 80% of money in the first place. So if you don't have a plan that's really built for you to be able to succeed with money, then you're not going to be able to make progress in the long run. You may start, gain a little traction, and then fall off. And so that's what we don't want for you. We want you to be able to get on this plan, get going, and eliminate as much debt as you possibly can. So you want to explore your options do your research, maybe consult with somebody and figure out which is going to be the best method of all of the options that are out there for you. Create a money plan. That's number two, okay? You want to create a money plan that is, again, specific to your needs and your lifestyle. So what works for me may not necessarily work for somebody else. And that's why I personally like to suggest you making a unique monthly money plan. We can call it a budget. Some people don't like the B word. But if you don't like the B word, you can call it a conscious spending plan, like Ramit Sethi says. You can call it a, you know, a money plan. You can call it, I call it your mindful money system. Because your budget is only one piece of the entire system that helps you to make progress. That is another topic for another day, but you want to create a plan for your money so that you're intentional and that you're the one that's telling it where to go as opposed to it telling you where it went. Now, you might be thinking, I've heard this before. Create a plan. No, I'm kidding. But... <laughs> But if you are someone who has struggled with getting your money under control, with overspending, or, you know, just not knowing where to start when it came to paying debt down fast, then hit the like button, okay? Let me make sure to support you with new and more helpful information. And that's why I try to approach this from a different perspective, which is that bonus tip that you'll hear at the end. So here's the thing. If we're talking about tactics, that you have heard about before, but haven't been successful with, that's where we have to start thinking about the bonus that I'm gonna share here in a minute and utilize that to help us really dig deeper to get to the root of what's going on. But anyway, I digress. Let's dive back into the tips. Number three is to cut it unnecessary expenses, but also to increase your income. Again, this may sound easier said than done to some extent. I know for me in my journey, I wasn't managing my money at all, to be honest. And I wasn't making enough money to, you know, um, pay off my debts. So I needed to do both, manage my expenses and increase my income. And when you understand which of these you need to focus on, if not both, because I know for me it was both, um, then it's gonna give you direction on which way to go. Now, the thing is that we can sometimes only cut our budget down so much. I would like for us to be able to think about how we can earn and attract more opportunities and prosperity, right? With the skills and abilities that we already have, what low hanging fruit helps you to be able to make money fast and be able to put that money toward your debt? For me, it looked like selling things around my house when I started my debt-free journey to save my first emergency fund and really kick off my journey by looking for higher paying full-time work to supplement what I was already doing. And it took me about a year to really get that solidified before I really could start paying down debt. And so it depends on whether you have the income or not. If you do, then it's about money management and being able to get in control of that spending. And then if you don't have the income, it's really about figuring out how to earn more because sometimes you can only cut your budget down so far to where you're able to start making progress towards your goals. 
Number four, get accountability. Now here's the thing about accountability. You actually can only hold yourself accountable, but when you tell people your goals and you're able to have them support you in the process, it actually increases the likelihood of you hitting your goals by freaking huge percentages. The research says those who have some level of accountability or have told someone their goals that they check in with um, is about 65% higher rate of success. When you have a regular meeting on the books, right? A regular uh, coaching session, a regular meetup, a regular whatever, right? Um, conversation maybe with a partner or a friend, you're at a 90 five percent higher rate of success to hit your goal that's not just money this is in general so if your success was inevitable why would you not do this thing that's going to help you hit your goal so what does accountability look like for you in this season and then the question becomes what's the biggest obstacle holding you back from being able to make progress in your money journey if you have all of the information you know essentially like logistically right we can talk about it and you know what you need to do but you're not doing it and so drop that in the comments let's have a conversation what is that biggest challenge holding you back from being able to make progress in your money journey let's get to the bonus so the one thing that's going to make all this work the one thing that you have to do in order to actually follow through, make progress, and reach debt freedom land, okay, it should be an amusement park, debt freedom land, <laughs> is to shift your mindset. Maybe you saw it coming, maybe you didn't. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist turned money mindset coach, and I really come from a psychological perspective because I saw so many women in my therapy room mentioning money as a major stressor that contributed to anxiety and depression and their trauma recovery. And so when we talk about money, we're not just talking about green pieces of paper with dead people's faces on it. We're talking about people's history. We're talking about their story. We're talking about their trauma oftentimes. And so you're going to want to do some work on mindset to help you to be able to get long term results, not just to be able to make progress for 30 days and then to fall off. And you have to figure out what that mindset work is going to look like for you. I have a plan that I work with my students on to help them to be able to do this work as they're, you know, progressing in their journey. But you want to figure out what that's going to be in yours. If you're struggling to pay down debt fast or, you know, you want to create financial freedom, but you're not exactly sure how to make it happen in your journey specifically, feel free to look in the description box below and book a call with me and my team. That way we can at least hear what's going on, what your goals are, make recommendations and maybe support you in being able to hit your goals. If you've enjoyed this video and want to get some more money mindset tips and tricks, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your attention and time and I look forward to chatting with you next time, Gems.